Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Los Angeles. In fact, we're right alongside an RS6, an Abd RS6, no less, but we are heading up towards Hollywood because I think the most insane car that's ever driven through Hollywood, down Hollywood Boulevard, is there today. We're gonna to go and hunt down the Mercedes Vision AVTR. Now, I've actually driven the Vision AVTR concept in Germany before now, which is amazing to think that that's now here. But the reason it's here, and we've heard a little birdie telling us that it's gonna be out today, is because it's time for the premiere of Avatar 2, The Way of Water. Now, because of that, this car, which was a collaboration with Avatar's director, James Cameron, is here for the event. It's a car that merges car and machine and human and machine all into one kind of thing. And it's got some crazy features, but on the road, it's gonna look totally out of this world. So the plan, given we're here with my Mercedes, the AMG GT Black Series, is to head onwards up towards Hollywood. And yes, it's the afternoon, so we're sitting in traffic. Surprise, surprise. It's a long old drive up from Orange County. But I wanna go and see if we can track this thing down and find the Mercedes Vision ABTR here in Los Angeles. I think the whole entire world knows about the traffic jams of Los Angeles, and this is actually flowing quite nicely at the moment. Up the 405 from Orange County, up past so many different areas, Long Beach, Torrance, we're gonna be going all the way, probably kind of around Beverly Hills, into Hollywood, where I've actually been with my Ford GT, done a reaction video around there. It's so busy, the hustle and bustle of the world's epicenter for movies. <laughs> That's cool. Looking very, very menacing in the full satin black look on that with a Gintani plate as well, so presumably with exhaust. But the Mercedes Vision AVTR is this future of Mercedes concept, an electric car, of course, but with some crazy things like scales on the back that open and pivot to show you the direction, neurons firing out of the diffuser, illuminated wheels, four wheel steering, crab walking. You drive it with a pad. So instead of your traditional steering wheel, you have a pad in the central console and you basically tilt it forwards or backwards to drive. It's a very weird sensation. Let's get there and see what's gonna be possible today. But to get there means this drive up the highways of LA and the tarmac or concrete slabs make for a very uncomfortable drive around here. It's actually quite funny for a place with so much going on that it can be as it is. But anyway, it's a bit of a cruise. It's an hour or so to get there if the traffic isn't too bad on arrival at the other end before we're in Hollywood, before we're in land of the unusual. So the Vision ABTR will probably fit right in. While the weather looks a little bit sketchy, over in that direction, it's pretty gray and probably raining. Where we are right now is out in the sunshine. Um, I just had this car clean, so that might turn out to be a complete waste of time. We shall find out shortly. Thankfully, this is actually pretty smooth sailing. We're basically cruising on our way up towards Hollywood. Only half an hour to go and no issues yet. So let's just hope the weather stays on site because I didn't really fancy running around the streets of Hollywood in the pouring rain. That's not on the agenda for today. While we're sitting in traffic on the rooftop up there, a whole bunch of helicopters. In fact, that's downtown, of course the skyscrapers of LA downtown. And for anybody wondering, we're very aware of the crack in the windshield. You can't replace it out here because it needs a right-hand drive glass. And this is a left-hand drive country, unfortunately, working on that one. But yeah, this is the inevitable traffic we knew was coming. Hopefully, we're actually gonna find the ABTR because if we don't, this is a really redundant journey. Let's keep fingers crossed. You'll probably have to take my word for it, but the Hollywood sign is up on the hills over there, behind that wall somewhere. Oh, I can just catch a glimpse of it. <laughs> it's as hidden as it can be, but we're nearly there. We are making our way up and we've actually taken time off the nav. This is why I always use Waze, by the way. Waze knows how long it's gonna to take to get places. It said this journey would be a bit over an hour and it's gonna to be to the minute what it originally said, even though we have random slowdowns like this. It's behind that building, isn't it? It's behind that one building there. Oh well. We are here then. This is Hollywood Boulevard. Along the pavements, you have the Hollywood Walk of Fame with all of the stars. Up ahead of us are where you find the main theaters or cinemas, if you're from the UK. Uh, I don't entirely know where we're headed at the moment other than just kind of making our way around, getting the lay of the land 
and seeing what we can spot. Now, a few people have asked me to do a reactions video with this car over here, and it's quite funny because I did a reactions video right here with the Ford GT, and actually with Tamir's Corvette, some of you might remember as well, that was crazy. But this car, it's not as outlandish as something like that. While it's bright and, you know, this paintwork looks extraordinary, it's not quite as in your face. It doesn't bring out the crazy reactions. When people realize it's right-hand drive, that's really funny, as we saw in Las Vegas a few times, because right-hand drive cars here, not really a thing. But it's not like the same massive in your face. And I don't run around revving it loads, so you're not hearing it, because, you know, stop start even right now. But the question is, is the AVTAR up that away, or is it in a garage somewhere? And we're gonna drive around a bit until we find it and hopefully manage to track it. As we get to where you have the Chinese theater, for example, this is actually a little bit closed with a tent or marquee in the middle of the road, which I presume is to do with the Avatar 2 Premier. I don't know if that's where the car is or if that's just preparing for the chaos of everything that's to come, because of course Avatar 1 was a massive, massive, massive box office smashing movie. Um, I think I just saw another AMG GT, yes. There's a GT Roadster, red with a red roof, just alongside. Nice, cool. So, where do we go now? I don't know. We might have to go and find somewhere to park. There are carol singers over my shoulder. I've literally just realized there are people singing carols. Hollywood, random things happen here. Well, we've just found out that it's at a hotel nearby. So we are quickly bombing around the corner. I say quickly, I mean 35 miles per hour speed limit, say. Eh? But we're gonna head there to hopefully go and catch it. I think it's gonna be in here. In fact, I can see it. I can see the AVTR parked up outside the front of the hotel. So let me see how this is going to work. But that's what we've come to see. <laughs> Look what I have found here then. The Mercedes Vision AVTR. Look at this machine. Let's have a quick walk around to take in some of the details, but stay tuned for what's coming next. The car is alive, inspired by nature. These scales over the rear deck, which actually move around in the direction of travel, whether you're accelerating or braking, for example, the colors change when you're on the brakes. You've got those air brakes, the red lights, when you're accelerating, the blue lights, and you can see these neurons coming through the rear diffuser section here, accelerating as the car is getting faster as well. Look at the wheels, 30 degree turning in both the front wheels and the rear wheels. Again, all of the illuminations, these are inspired by the wood sprites from the movies. If you come and have a look at the interior, this is the pad that's used for the driving controls, the projections of the displays out in front of you, the materials that are used inside here as well. In fact, some of them are actually made from recycled PET bottles. We've then got, as you can see, the design, these curves, these wraparounds, the rear seats come round to become the headrests. In fact, for the front seats with these large glass door panels that open up, this being an idea, a concept for the future, but very much this collaboration between Mercedes-Benz and Avatar. The ideas from James Cameron. In fact, all of the materials for the interior are vegan materials, as James Cameron himself is actually vegan as well. But just look at this. And in a second, it's going to be moving on out for a drive down Hollywood Boulevard. The front is, of course, the visual design of the EQ range from Mercedes-Benz. This style, this complete width, with the large replacement of the traditional grille that you see across the models like the EQS, EQE, for example, and other models from the lineup. But this is really something, and the paint quality is incredible. So imagine what this is going to look like shortly as it's being driven down Hollywood Boulevard. Needless to say, I'm quite looking forward to seeing this. This is not all. I've just been invited to hop on board the Vision AVTR a little bit later on for a passenger ride on Hollywood Boulevard in this, the most insane car to ever drive on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm looking forward to that. For the moment though, we're filming behind the scenes as this is actually about to go out for a little video and photo shoot. This is quite exciting. The perfect timing, coincidentally, to be here, to be with this, and it's now about to happen. And it is on the move, look at that. You see crab walking and rear wheel steering on some modern cars, but very different when it's 30 degrees of steer like this. But time now for the Vision AVTR to head out and for me to try and run after it, to go and see it out on the roads with police escort here. That's not something that you see often. In fact, I think they brought it to Las Vegas and drove it down the Las Vegas Boulevard in the past. And I've actually driven it in Germany, this very car. I always love to see cars on different continents, 
And here is a great example. Let's just hope it can manage with the low curves that they have out here. Look at this. Like I said, the most unusual thing you're going to see out here on the road anytime soon. Look at that. Surrounded by normal cars on the road. <laughs> I don't really know what to think. Look at this thing. Totally unusual. And they've got a cool camera set up as well alongside it. Here it comes, turning onto Hollywood Boulevard with the police escort, the Mercedes Vision AVTR. How cool is that? to see on the road. Lights flashing, right, let me run after it. This is really not normal. Wow. Look at that. Rolling through. Crazy. In and amongst the normal cars here in Los Angeles. Silently cruising by. <laughs> It's a big workout for me running up the road, trying to catch it. Worth every single clip. Just chilling, crossing the junction, as you do. The reactions from people around here are hilarious. The number of people screaming and shouting, what is it, who's driving it? Look at the number of people stopped in their tracks as this goes by. Can't even squeeze through the yeah, pass at the moment. While I'm walking down, Adam Sandler, Kate Winslet, loads of names, Jennifer Lopez, Ellen, Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, Pharrell Williams. This is actually really fun. Mariah Carey, it goes on. Oh, Michael Bublé as well. This is cool. Well, I've lost track of the ABTR, but there are G63s aplenty around here. Good car for LA. The light has fallen, but we've managed to find it again. I was just starting to think that was gone from my sights. Look at that at night. That's so cool. That is so, so cool like this under the night light. Wow! I'm just enjoying watching it. Seeing the reactions. Off it rolls. It is time to take a seat carefully inside here then. Here we go. Vision AVTR. The projections, the feel, the door closing automatically. Wow, this is not so normal. <laughs> and here we are, under the lights of Hollywood Boulevard, driven by the control pad. The same machine that I've actually driven before <laughs> on a completely different continent. We're moving out, crabbing, turning, oncoming traffic, past the EQS cars that are here as well on Hollywood Boulevard. The most bizarre thing are the number of cameras that come out with this thing. Everybody, everybody has their cameras to see it. This is the craziest car to ever drive down Hollywood Boulevard. Just people so confused, getting the selfies, getting the shots. <laughs> and here we are, rolling through the junctions traffic coming the other way. Unbelievable. We're turning around. <laughs> Look at this. Those distinct Mercedes EQ cars facing towards us as we sit here with the photo camera car coming past straight on by. And I'm reluctant to touch anything, being very delicate inside here. All the floors are wicker. Again, all about recyclable materials. Even the battery is actually compostable. Recyclable battery, 110 kilowatt hours. Lots of glass, the lights, the feeling of it all. Of course, the control pad and everything behind us as well. Again, the lights over the top. All really, really, really really special. Just everybody you go by looks and waves and has their cameras out. <laughs> Every single person in Hollywood sees this coming. Well, everybody just sees it, grabs their phone, gets the shots, totally in awe of what they're seeing. Every single person grabs the phone, takes a photo, 
This is crazy to see. I have never seen a car get reactions like this. Just every single person. Big thanks to the police for their help, for the escort down the road. This is surreal. This is absolutely surreal. What a crazy thing to be doing. People coming after the car. Oh, the reflection's cool as well. The wheels. That's not normal. Even the shape of the seats you can see in the reflection off the windows. And everybody running out of shops. Look, people running out of shops to get the photos. <laughs> Even when parked up, everybody grabbing those angles, getting all of the photos. It's just bizarre. And just like that, the door opens up again. The pulsing lights inside. Time for me to exit from the Vision AVTR. Wow, that was quite the experience. Look at the lights, the seat back as well. All just incredible to see. And now we'll see under night light. Look at that. Look at those movements through the back. Well, the Vision ABTR has been popped away to charge it up for a little bit before they head back on out to go and do some more filming and photos along Hollywood Boulevard. But as experiences go, that was really quite unique to see how much focus there is on a car like that. And of course, the point of a concept to begin with is to bring ideas, to bring technology, to see people's feedback, to get people involved. And I have never seen a car that has reactions like that. Every single person reaches to grab their phone. It's something to see. And now when we hop into the GT Black series and drive back down Hollywood Boulevard, yeah, no one's going to even look at it at all because unlike the Vision ABTR, it just doesn't stand out. What a cool thing though, around the launch of the new movie, Avatar 2, to bring the Vision ABTR here, given the connections, given, well, even that it's a few years old, but given it's so much a demonstration of all of this and to drive it around. I love that. I really love that. And what a coincidence to have seen it and to the team who kindly allowed me to hop on board it here. That was not planned. That was not like in the works at all. We just found out it was here, turned up, obviously have met some of the team before, and what an awesome experience. Right, back in here. An hour and 17 to get back. That's not too bad, to be honest. I thought it could be significantly longer than that. But we shall head onwards in the GT Black series, which means starting our journey, turning out onto Hollywood Boulevard. A bit worried about my front splitter. As we turn out here, I'm going to need to borrow all of the lanes because of how low this is. But I think we've got this. We've got this. Alrighty. Off we go in this direction. Back to Hollywood Boulevard. Although, like I say, um, I don't think anybody cares about this compared to the Vision ABTR. Oh, the guy in front just put his hazards on. Very helpful. Thank you, sir when I'm like, it's a right turn. He's in the right turn lane, no parking. Oh well, we'll make it work. We will make it work. Yeah, you see, when you've been in the Vision AVTR and you've seen everybody get their camera phone out, it's a little bit different here. Um, technically we can go, but maybe we can't go. I don't know, I'm gonna go. All right, onwards. I suppose it's time to hit the road fully back then, go with the flow, make our way home, saying farewell to the Vision AVTR for today. But that was so immensely cool. A huge thanks to everybody there who was part of making that possible because not a normal experience. Genuinely, this place has seen some crazy cars. This road has seen movie cars, hyper cars, you name it cars, but that was really one of the most unusual cars to ever go down that road and i feel very lucky to have gone in the passenger seat so i hope you've enjoyed coming along for parts of that experience for parts of what all of that is like but i guess that's it for now onwards with our trip here in california thanks for watching guys i appreciate your support as always and i'll see you again very soon cheers